how's everyone been since I've been gone? I'm sure some of you have probably missed me wondering what the heck I've been up to, which I'll talk about in a moment. Probably been wondering, oh, have I been okay? I will also talk about that in a moment. <clears throat> a lot of stuff has kind of gone on behind the scenes here. And, um, I can finally talk about it today. So, I just noticed something here. Just gonna erase that i don't i don't know i don't know what happened there with that um that was kind of weird <laughs> wait okay so actually hold on so you see here how i got the little watermark thing going on okay so i did pay for vtube studios you know like watermark removal however i just bought something brand new like a brand new vtuber application that some of you might know it's called vbridger do you know do you know have you heard of vbridger before um today I am currently being tracked using vBridger. However, this model does not have vBridger parameters. I was testing out a different model that does have vBridger and I forgot to swap from um, the different tracking points because I wanted to see how I would look here with vBridger. It's actually really... Re Honestly, it's kind of... It's really reactive. I'm, I'm a little surprised. I am using vBridger and I'm wondering if because I'm using vBridger, even though I paid for the watermark removal on VTube Studio, I'm wondering if there's like an additional watermark that I have to pay for to have removed. So you know what? You can stay. Honestly, you're a cute little idle reminder for people. So you can stay. I won't, I won't delete you this time. First announcement is that I have vBridger and I am going to be using vBridger with my new model yes that's right i have a new model actually it's not that new i'm pretty sure some of you have you already know about this model that i had gone a long 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 time ago but i've never got anything done with it this model is gonna have vbridger on it and i am very very excited i've never had a vbridger model and Yes, I've had this model here that you're seeing on screen. Um, this has been done and drawn by Moeko. I never had a chance to actually debut this model due to just circumstances I can't really talk about. But yes, this model is going to start getting used. But, but there's other stuff that's going to be going on with this model that I can't exactly say, but just be excited. This model should be completed by the end of this month. So yeah, you're all going to get to see me try it out. I'm very excited. All right. So that's announcement number one. So let's, let's talk about something a bit more, um, I guess, serious. Where have I been? What has been going on? Like, I, I you know, I, I talk a lot about how, like, yeah, guys, like, I'm going to come back and, like, make content and stuff like that. And the thing is, I, when I say those things, I am serious about it. I do want to come back and, like, make content. However, some of you recall a while back where I had talked about how I quit my second job and how I only work one job now. Well, that is true. I still only work one job. There has been a issue with my scheduling where I'm getting scheduled at random hours every single day and there is no consistent schedule. So every time when I would want to come back to come stream, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch, doesn't matter. Like I, I never have a good idea of what my schedule is going to be. So if I try to plan a stream, I might get called into work at uh, like the time I have to be there and then I don't leave until the time I have to be streaming. So I haven't been able to have an actual consistent schedule. The only reason why I'm able to stream today is because I don't have to be at work until very, very late, like very late. So my hours every single day are constantly changing. I do not have a consistent work schedule and that is making it difficult for me to be able to have the time to make content because I have deliverables I have to do for sponsors that come first. Um, I have to make time for editing and making videos on my main channel. And I have also been trying my best. I've been trying so hard to draw my own VTuber model to do my whole rebranding that I've been talking about. All of this is very difficult when you don't have a consistent job schedule. And that's because if I don't know how much time I have in the day, it's really hard to like efficiently get things done. So. Because I haven't had a consistent work schedule, one thing that I do know that is consistent is mornings. Early, early mornings. Like I get up at four in the morning
morning. I don't know, isn't that crazy? Four in the morning. I know, I know. Although the past couple of days, I've been, uh, I've been kind of like sleeping in a little bit. I've been a little too tired, but I am waking up at four and I thought to myself, you know, Maybe I could do early streams. I mean, after all, when I check my YouTube analytics, at least on YouTube, I don't know about y'all on Twitch. Uh, like, <laughs> I don't know how to really check Twitch analytics correctly. There is just, Twitch is a little weird. YouTube though, I my view count is pretty standard. This is what I expect to have um, in the morning. And that's because I can check my analytics accurately. And so I realized, wow, a lot of you like to be on YouTube in the morning. It's possible for me to do streams in the morning. So I've decided that um, I'm, I do want to start coming back and making content consistently through live streaming and uploading videos. Ooh, didn't mean to hit the microphone. However, it's going to have to be in the mornings. And I can't really tell you what time that's going to be due to how often my schedule is always changing. I can't even tell you how long the streams are going to be. It's unfortunate because the thing is, some people might be like, well, why don't you just stream on the weekends on your days off? Because sometimes I get called in on my days off. <laughs> So I I, li I literally do not know when I will get called in at work. So one thing I do know though is that I have my mornings to myself to do whatever it is I want to do for content. <clears throat> I know some people are always like, yeah, you should have like a consistent stream schedule. I say go f yourself because you know, that's like a really privileged thing to have is a consistent stream schedule. Like good for you, man. Good for you for working a nine to five. I don't have that. So I'm going to make do with what I got. So I'm going to be doing morning streams more often. And basically, you just kind of have to pay attention to my thumbnails. So make sure you subscribe so you get the notification of when I plan on having the stream. <laughs> That's really all I can do. I originally wanted to be a parody channel. That is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make skits. I wanted to make parodies. I wanted to be haha -ha funny. Haha, funny anime women does not exist apparently, and if they do, they're considered a b or they're considered mean or a bully. So I'm no longer haha, -ha funny anime woman no more. Now I'm just being more literal. I'm more real in the sense of I just kind of tell you how things are and you can either take them or you can leave them. And I think that's better suited for this channel because I realized that not a lot of VTubers are comfortable talking about what it's like being a VTuber. I realized that there are certain nuances that, well, a lot of your favorite Oshis can talk about due to like, the nuances about being anime characters on the screen. So I am now making my main channel a destination, a, <laughs> a destination page for what it's like being a VTuber. I want to talk about my personal experiences and share like tips or advice along the way for anyone who might be struggling on their VTuber journey. <clears throat> that may or may not be tutorials. I do want to do some like tutorial stuff. However, a lot of my step by step, like, you know, holding your hand, walking you through like tutorial guides is going to be on my other channel called How To VTuber. Guides on how to create VTuber models, whether that's 2D or 3D, or being a PNG, how to configure your OBS stuff, how to tune your microphone to your voice. Like, these are more technical videos. That is where those types of videos are going to be hosted on the How To VTuber YouTube channel. I think the handle is how to VTube because I think someone stole someone stole how to VTuber as the handle. So yeah, it's a how to VTube. <laughs> I do like the content pivot a lot. The content pivot is pretty nice. Um, I know that the me content pivoting has been very helpful for a lot of people. I do understand that there are some of you in here who do appreciate my entertainment style content. I know there's people here who actually understood that I was doing parody style content back in the days of my early VTubing career. And I know that there's a lot of you who like my improv and who like my sense of humor. So don't lose hope. I actually am still going to be doing that, just not on my main channel anymore. Which leads me to my next announcement. I have a second channel. This other channel is called... Why is this called Mario's a stinky cat girl? What the heck? Why did what? Okay, that is so weird. Um, all right. <clears throat> 
This other channel is called 404 Mari Not Found. If you would like to follow my new VTuber channel, this is the channel that you can go follow. My other channel is meant for me actually being a VTuber. I, I know, right? You're like, but Mari, you're a VTuber right now. I know. I know I'm a VTuber right now. However, the content that I make here on my main channel is a destination page for what it's like being a VTuber. So again, I'm talking on the main page what it's like being a VTuber, my experiences being a VTuber, the mistakes I've made as a VTuber, how I like how other VTubers go about their journey. It's about the concept of VTubing, whereas my second channel, 404 Mari Not Found is going to be me doing the VTuber things, like actually doing the VTuber stuff. So you will see more of my funny haha hee hee moments. You will see more video game playing content. You will also see me trying things that I have always wanted to try, but I never, I like said no. I like shelved the ideas and put them away, burying them deep, deep somewhere in my notes section because it just didn't fit on my main channel. So, <sighs> I am in fact going to start doing the, uh, the VTuber thing, my other channel. So why am I separating the two? I'm seeing some people in chat asking like, why am I separating the two? No other VTuber does that. Well, like, you know, especially like the corpos, right? None of the corpos are allowed to have other channels like that. Well, I shouldn't say none of them. The majority of them are not allowed to have multiple channels like that. Well, I'm not like other VTubers. And that's it. Like I said, I understand YouTube pretty well. So well to the point where I have tested out different styles of content on that other channel. You're gonna, if you go to it, you'll notice there's content on there. Everything on there was meticulously tested. On this other channel, I did some testing. Um, I've, I actually have a lot of YouTube channels. In fact, I own about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I own nine YouTube channels and I've done testing on all of them except for except for one of them, but I've done testing on all of these channels. I understand a lot of things about YouTube now that I didn't back in the day. And what I have realized from what some of you are guessing is yes, you're correct. Different audiences, different niches. I have, I have accepted and understood now from my main channel that my main channel is mostly for people who want to like, not just learn how to be a VTuber, but more about what it's like. The, the, the VTuber cultural phenomena, like there are people who want to know what's happening in the VTuber scene that's not just drama all the time. There's a lot of things I want to talk about in the VTuber scene. And I think I'm like the only person who makes content like that. Everyone else, it's usually about drama or like really just petty weirdness. I think I'm like the only one who actually talks about the things you can expect in your day-to-day -day with VTubing, um, some things that you may encounter. There's just not a lot of like channels that I've looked at that talk about that stuff. So I know there are people who are interested in that. And that is why I'm separating them because it's kind of hard for me to talk about more serious things when I'm also like trying to make jokes at the same time. It kind of it leaves mixed signals and I acknowledge that. So the entertainment stuff will be on 404 Mari Not Found. That is where I will be doing my VTuber activities on there. So yes, please subscribe to that. I pinned it in the comments up top. Anyways, with that being said, <laughs> yeah, it gets a little hot in here, unfortunately. It's been a very long time since like, I've been really thinking about how I want to go about my content. Like I said, over the last four years of being a VTuber, I, I realized that there are so many ins and outs that people don't know about with VTuber culture. And so I want to share that with all of you with my findings. And then, yeah, um, we can also play little fun games. So how am I going to have time for all of this? You might be wondering, because I just talked about my job, which they literally, my boss texted me saying, hey, can you like, can you like, I don't know, uh, what would they say? I might have to work late until like nine or something. I don't know. I, I gotta figure that out. But my idea is that some days will be on main where we kind of work on like some, some productivity. We'll have some, some yap sessions kind of like today and we'll talk about some stuff. And then other days will be on the other account. I'm not going to be streaming on all of these accounts at once every single day. 
you can expect like my Twitch stuff to be more on the entertainment side of things. I just think that makes more sense. From my testing over the last four years, I noticed that the entertainment stuff does better on Twitch for me personally than my educational stuff. So <clears throat> there's not going to be that many educational streams on Twitch moving forward. It's mostly going to be more on the entertainment side of things. So yes, that is in fact happening. What's the other thing that I have here? I have some other notes. Oh, that's right. I have finally decided that I want to become a full-time YouTuber and I think I can do it. I actually think I can do it. And despite how limited my time is right now, I have a goal on what needs to be achieved in order to go full-time as a VTuber and YouTuber. I, I have a goal of what that is. And so I'm going to be working towards that goal every day until the end of the year because I want to try to achieve that goal by the end of the year to become full-time, which means I won't be working at this job that changes my hours constantly and dealing with all this other stuff that I deal with. I'll be able to do this full-time, which means I can have more time doing more crazy edits. But for now, I'm going to try to be more efficient about my time with what my stuff is. So you may see more videos that are a bit more slower paced on my main channel. And then on my entertainment stuff, I'll be doing my other more fun kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh, I should say really quickly, there is content that I want to do, but if I just sit here and like tell myself, oh, I'll wait until I have a free day. The truth is, you guys, I'm never going to have a free day. I'm never going to have a day where I'm in the mood to make content. I'm never going to have a day where like, oh, you know, like I'm so prepared. I'm like super prepared. I'm never going to have that. I'm never prepared for stream. Even like when I started this stream, I was still trying to fix things like minutes before going online. I'm never gonna have a free day. And I'm not gonna always just be in the mood. Doesn't matter. I want to be able to understand that I have a baseline with my content and that I can in fact do this and make it work even if it's not up to my standards. I want to show people that you can still make amazing valuable content for people even if it's not up to your standards and that's kind of what this challenge that i'm doing is like these types of channels i want to see where they go and look i'm not saying i'm gonna pop off as an entertainment vtuber if i did if i did if i do pop off and i become like the next biggest like indie vtuber sensation then pff, i don't know like Maybe we'll, maybe we'll make some kind of secret reference to this stream or something. Like, we'll, I'll like tweet something out on my, my entertainment VTuber thing. That's like a special hidden, like meaning from this channel. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about second monitor content or something. Maybe, maybe that's going to be my, <laughs> my reference for people who will know. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Just one of those things, you know? Ah. <sighs> I appreciate the support though, everyone. Like, yeah, it's kind of like looking back, like, thank you. I, I do appreciate all the support that a lot of you have given me on here. And it's like, it's a lot. Like I said, I really want to go full time with being a YouTuber. I'm kind of tired of just, I, I kind of realize that I'm not meant for, I don't want to say corporate life because that's not true. I'm just not meant for office life, if that makes sense. I'm not meant to sit at an, a cubicle and like stare at nothing. I, I don't know, it's weird. It's really weird. I'm also like, I don't like waking up at 4 a.m. to be honest with you. I'm only doing it because I'd rather lose out on the two hours of sleep if it meant that I can stream and like make content. I'm, I'm willing to cut all my sleep hours just so I can meet those thresholds to go full time on YouTube. So that is gonna be the goal that I am working towards. Yeah, so that's gonna happen. Other than that, I'm not seeing any frame rate issues. I'm also recording too. So this is beautiful, honestly. And this is the kind of stuff we're going to do on the main channel is we're going to be doing a lot of like the testing and debugging. We're going to, like I said, I'm going to show you how to do the VTuber thing on main. But for Twitch and then 404 Mari Not Found, that's where we're going to have more fun. That's where you're going to pretend like the main channel doesn't exist and you're going to love my 
my persona. And if you don't love my persona, I will find out where you live, knock on your door, and politely ask you to reconsider. And if it's your parents that open the door, then even better. So, yeah. 